Hi, and welcome to the first in a series of videos on how to analyze the human transcriptome array. Today we'll be looking at how to run an analysis in the Expression Console software. The human transcriptome array analysis workflow can be broken up into two parts. The first part is handled by the Expression Console software and produces the signal summarizations and allows the QC evaluation of the arrays. The second is the investigation of differentially expressed genes and or alternative splicing and this is handled by the transcriptome analysis software um, also called TAC. Today we will be looking at Expression Console. It has two main functions. The first is to generate the signal estimates referred to as probe set summarization and the second is it functions as a quality control reporting tool basically to answer the simple question did my array work? There are three groups of information that can be used to determine this. The first is looking at array metrics related to the spike ins that have been added as part of the assay. The second is to look at signal distributions. And the third is to look at array to array comparisons to see how the things are behaving. Today, we'll be looking at the probe set summarization that's used to generate the signal estimates. Probe set summarization in Expression Console is a simple process of three steps. First, you create a study. Second, you load the intensity files of interest into the study. And third, you run the analysis. The analysis can be performed at two different levels. The first is the gene level, for this is used for examination of differentially expressed genes. The second is the exon level, or the alternatively spliced level. This is for the examination of differentially expressed spliced transcripts. Note that if you're interested in both, differentially expressed genes and alternative splicing, you simply run the analysis twice, once at each level, and the results are stored in the project for you. When you first launch Expression Console, this is the screen that you view. After installation, you'll be guided through to select a library file folder, which is simply a folder that you're going to use to store your files. After that, you need to download the analysis files that are going to be used that are appropriate for each array type you're interested in. How you do that is you go up to the file, you go up to the menu up at the top, file, and then here's the download library file. So if we click this, you'll be prompted to enter your NetFX user account information. If you don't have a NetFX account, you can click the register button here and you can create one. This will enable you to download library files that are needed for the analysis. So if we click OK, it's going out across the internet to identify what arrays are available. Since we're interested in the HTA array today, we'll scroll down and you can see there's a wide variety of expression arrays that can be analyzed in Expression Console. We'll go down to the HTA V2 here and select it and then click the download. And you can see that each time you look, if you come to this page, it actually does a check to see if there are any missing files for this array type that you might need in order to perform the analysis correctly. So we'll hit the download button here. While the files are downloading, I'm going to need to introduce you to, to a couple things about Expression Console. If you look down here in the window, this is the message window, which will tell you um, information about what is going on in the project, the progress of the analysis, and that sort of things. Second is that within Expression Console, there are basically three ways in which you can do things. The first is there's a toolbar up here with a couple of buttons or icons, which will allow you to quickly um, move through the various functions you need. Second, there are the menus that you've seen before that have the various pull downs options. And the third is over here along the right hand side, there is a toolbox which basically step you through all of the pieces that you are needed to perform an analysis in Expression Console. I like to follow along with the toolbox, but as I say, each person has their own different way to work their way through the analysis and find what's comfortable for you. So the first step, after you've downloaded your library files, is to create a study. Second is you're going to be adding cell files into this study. So we'll go to the Add Files window, and it opens a File Open dialog box, at which point we'll select the files that we're interested in. These are the HTA sample files that are provided on the Affymetrics website. And we'll select these. The first thing you can see is that in addition to the file name, there's also two additional columns. These are um, displaying the information that was captured at the time of registering in the sample file or the ARR file. So during registration, you're prompted for attributes or pieces of information that you might choose to enter. If you do that, these in that information will be displayed here. And we select Open, which will now add the files into our study. 
Now the next step is to simply run the analysis. And there's an analysis run button right here. We'll click that and you can see that you have two options. There is the gene level analysis and the exon level altered device analysis. At this point you select the analysis level of interest. We'll do the gene level analysis and hit OK. You will be prompted if you choose to add a suffix to your name, uh, to the file name. Um, you can do so at this point, otherwise you can just click OK. And you can see down here the status window here is updated with messages saying that the analysis is beginning and that we're beginning to open the files. After analysis is completed, you can see that the chip files or the summarized files are automatically loaded into your study window for you. You can see in this case that these are all highlighted in orange and indicated that their QC thresholds tests are out of bounds. This is because if you use both the ERCC controls and the Affymetrics labeling controls in the same assay, what happens is that both of those control sets contain the DAP, the lice, and the fee, and so you get cross-reactivity between the control sets, which affects and disturbs the expected ratio of the probe sets to each other. And so this is an expected result for the demonstration data that's available on the website because both the ERCC controls and the um, poly-A labeling controls were part of the assay. In order to run, so this is the gene level analysis, in order to run the exon level analysis we just simply go to the run analysis button here and select exon level analysis and hit OK in order to um, begin the analysis for the exon level which will enable the running and the performing of the alt splice analysis. After the exon level analysis completes running, again the chip files are automatically loaded in. And in this case you have both the gene level and the alt splice level chip files loaded. And not surprisingly, again, they're marked as out of bounds because again we added both the labeling controls and the ERCC controls which affects the behavior of the control probe sets. The other thing to note is that if you want to look at a particular group, it's possible to just simply check a particular group here so that this will be what will be used for further examination. So in order to do the next step after performing the probe set summarization is to investigate the QC and that will be covered in another video in this series. So today we reviewed Expression Console and how to set it up in order to generate the signal estimates. I want to point your attention to some additional resources that are available on affymetrics.com. There's the NetFX Analysis Center to get information on particular probe sets. The other manuals and information um, that are available include the software manuals for both Expression Console, TAC, other white papers and data sheets, and also additional video recordings for this. Thank you for your attention.